for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 5 of the My Player series here on FIFA 17. We are very nearly 68 rated as you can see down here. We start with a game away from home against Mansfield today. We follow that up with a game against Notts County back at home before we are out of the transfer window. I don't think the side have done any business thus far. We have a point to our name in the table thus far after a draw and a defeat in the opening two games of the league season. Hoping to get my first competitive goal today. And if we can do that, it might just be enough to give us our first win of the competitive season as well. We'll start with this away game though at Mansfield. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content, whether it's this series, the Everton career mode series, which goes up every single day, or the journey series, which obviously goes up on alternating days to this My Player one. But for now, we're going to concentrate on trying to get a win against Mansfield. Luke Berry is back in the starting lineup, which is always a good sign. Hopefully, we can do well. Okay, that's Barry Core. Comes back to me. Go back to Barry Core again. He's got Harrison Dunk running around the outside of him. Shows some good strength here, Barry Core. And he's got support there from the man to his right. But he's decided to just hold on to the ball a little bit too long here. Was hoping he was going to play that off a call for through ball from Luke Berry. It's perfectly weighted. We are in behind. Keepers come. Oh, I tried to lift it over the top of him. But it's a good save by Jensen, the goalkeeper. Hemmings will just scramble that away. Because he, my guy, is devastated. Very, very close to an opening goal here. We'll take the early throw and we'll get it to Connor Newton. Squeezes it through looking for Luke Berry, but unfortunately it's, well, unfortunately for Mansfield, I've come away with it myself. We'll pull it back to Luke Berry. He'll have the shot. Oh, well saved again by Jensen. Went on a great run there, apparently. It said in the top right. On a seven rating already inside the opening seven minutes. Positive start here for Cambridge. Good signs that we might be able to get our first win of the season. Harrison Dunk. Running away with it. He's got Greg Taylor in support, but Harrison Dunk doesn't need him. He's on one hell of a run here. I don't really know where to aim my run, but we'll take the corner. Pierce can only head behind. And where's this going to go? I'm going to run to the near post, I think. I'm unmarked here at the moment. Is it going to come my way? No, it's over me. But up goes Luke Berry. In off the post. Cambridge United 1. Mansfield nil after just 13 minutes. That's the perfect start. We very nearly took the lead after just 4 or 5, but that header is perfect. Like, you could not have placed it any better there, Luke. In off the woodwork, beats the keeper, and the defender can't clear it before it crosses the line. 1-0 Cambridge, away from home. Newton with a throw. Gets it to Halliday. Inside to me. We'll just help it back there to Barry Court. And the on-rushing James Dunn. And he's found some space here. Finds Harrison Dunk. I'll call for it in the middle. It's dinked in. It's headed towards the man at the back post rather than myself. Harrison Dunk picks up on the loose ball again, though. Into me. We'll look for a teammate. Barry Core's shot is well blocked. James Dunn wins it back again. Finds me. Can I get my shot off? No. Collins gets the last ditch tackle in. And unfortunately, we're not able to make it 2-0. Really, really great start here from Cambridge, though. Completely different to the way that the first league games went. This is We show some great purpose. Positive play as well. Players flooding forward whenever we get the opportunity to uh, attack. And my, oh, great feet there, if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, the pass wasn't quite as good. Really, really great opening half an hour here, though. Very, very pleased. Corner for Mansfield. I'm left up on the halfway line as the only man forward. And that is only going to find Harrison Dunk. It's quite a slashed clearance, but can I win this header? Well, I don't even have to win the header. My guy chested it down, but unfortunately Matt Green's run off with it. It's a good turn by Baxendale in the box here for Mansfield. Dinks it in. Here's Pierce. Oh, Norris does well to come out and claim that just before he got the shot off. Gosling. Oh, lovely ball through the channel to Barry Court. The rest of us are arriving here. He's going to need support. Barry gets it to me. I'm going to try the shot with my left foot. It's on target, but... Not quite the power behind it that it needed to find its way into the back of the net. Comfortable save there for Jensen, unfortunately. We could be 2 or 3 0 up by this point in the game. We've had a number of good opportunities, but I haven't been able to find the back of the net personally. But at least Luke Berry's given us a 1 0 lead in that first half. We will try and continue to build on it in this second with 25 minutes left to go. Off to forward. Joe Piggott should win this header. In fact, he chested it down. I'll call for the pass. We'll help it on its way to Medi Elito. Out wide. Where you go, Medi? He's got. Good dribbling, Medi Elito. So hopefully he'll keep it away from the defenders and did. I'll give this to Luke Berry and look to make the run on myself. Call for the through ball. He's found me. I could look for Joe Piggott. Oh, but I get caught and I go down injured. Get up, Ches. I think I'm up. I'm up. It's okay. It's not a problem. We're all right. 
Oh, and there goes the final whistle. I should have played that to Joe Pigger. I got a little bit tunnel vision though. I wanted to score, take it past the second and final defender and then have a shot. Maybe he should have shot earlier. Maybe he should have passed it. In the end, it doesn't matter because we do get the 1-0 win thanks to Luke Berry's header in the first half. 100% shot accuracy, 92% passing accuracy. Put in a handful of tackles. Committed one foul though, unfortunately. But uh, tackling isn't my forte, being a striker. But we were able to get the victory nonetheless. And thankfully, that's our first three points of the season. So we will head now into the game against Notts County, who just drew 2-2 with Crawley and try and get another set of three points in the second game of the episode, this time back at home at the Abbey Stadium. A oh, lovely tackle by Halliday. Into Luke Berry. I'll call for it. He'll help it to me. And hopefully James Dunn will get it around the corner. He gets tackled, but I'll win it back. And the referee deemed that a legal challenge, despite the fact the defender tripped. Here's James Dunn. Oh, but he gets tackled right at the very last. So close to getting ourselves an opportunity in the opening 20 minutes, but nothing quite has fallen for us thus far. Barry. Oh, it's a lovely through ball to Barry Court. I'm trying to arrive as best I can in support. Call with the turn. I'll call for the pass. He'll find me. Try and get it past this defender and then have a shot. Wasn't quite able to do it, but we'll find Halliday. He could find Berry. Berry in the box. Luke Berry gets caught. Nothing given. I could have sworn that was going to be 1 0 there. If he'd just been able to get the shot off, I'm pretty sure he would have buried it in the back of the net. That's the best, most clear cut chance we've had all games so far. And he didn't even have a shot at the end of it. Connor Newton does well to win that back. I'll call for this from Halliday. And I'll try and roll the defender, but it didn't quite work. And Dickinson gets it forward to Oliver. Pink shirt's flooding forward here. O'Connor's got a number of options. Finds Oliver. Oliver looks for the threaded through ball, but over hit and straight to Will Norris. This has been a good first half so far. Not many chances, but the build-up play from both sides has been decent. Just missing that final ball or final chance. We'll hope to have that final chance in the second half. Done out wide. Tripping over the referee, I think, there. Dunk into Dunn, who will find me. Barry Kaur's making the run. He's in here, Barry. He'll have the shot, because I asked him to, and he's smacked it against the bar. Very, very close to Cambridge 1. Notts County nil. Connor Newton will find me here. We'll try and get away from a couple of defenders. We'll give it to Luke Berry. Can he get the turn? And he finds Harrison Dunk. Dunk will have the shot, and it's a good save by Colin. Instant improvement in this second half. I'll call for this pass from Connor Newton. Just try and drop the shoulder. I wanted to try and play in Luke Berry, but Connor Newton gets the tackle in. They cannot get it away here, Notts County. And in the end, they just take no risks and smack it out for a throw. So close to an assist there from Barry Court. A hell of a shot that smacks off the crossbar. You can pass it inside. You just gonna stand there and dance next to it. He's going to get it inside here. Berry will find James Dunn. Dunn to Halliday. Good strength shown by the right back. Needs support. He's got it there if he decides to play the pass. We have got the advantage. Here's Jake Gosling. Inside to Luke Berry. It's Jack, Jake Dunn. Jake Dunn. James Dunn. I'll find Greg Taylor. The left back. He's going to drop to Harrison Dunk. Harrison Dunk fires wide. Oh, more chances in the first 10 minutes of the second half than either side had in the first half combined. But still... Oh, wow, what a waste of a shot. Really good opportunity for there for Dunk. He had an effort earlier on that was even better, but good save by the goalkeeper. Nil-nil after 56 minutes, but clearly if either side are going to score, it's going to be us. Berry into me. Poke this for Harrison Dunk. I'm here in support if he needs, but he's looked to go inside. James Dunn's going to pick up on it. The shot's well blocked. Can he win the ball back? He can. I'll call for it. Back hill to me. We'll look to finesse it. Oh, it comes off. Luke Berry was on target because we clearly got the accomplishments for having a shot that was on target. That sucks. I really wanted to see if that was going to bend into the top corner. Never mind. We're on a 7.5 rating. More chances coming in this second half. The goal is on its way. I can feel it. Corner floated in. That should be easily cleared away. But it's gone back out to O'Connor. Finds Lewis Lang. Tackled maybe by Luke Berry. No. Lang with a shot. Saved comfortably by Will Norris. Pumped up towards me. I'll try and head this up wide to Ikpeatsu. And he's going to give it back to me. And he's gone again. Play it over the top. Uche Ikpeatsu in behind here. I'm trying to keep up, keep up in support. Cross could come. It has. There's Harrison Dunk at the back post. But Hewitt heads behind for a corner. 12 minutes to go. Can we get ourselves a goal to go in front here? I'm at the near post. I'll call for it. Hopefully it's through the air so I can try and head it. I'll try and flick that backwards actually. I brought it down instead. Play it out wide to Halliday. What was that? You fucking moron. O'Connor across to Jonathan Forte. Could get it round the corner maybe. Taking his time here. 
Looks like Notts County are settling for the point. No, nope, Milsom goes for the cross. They are still looking for that win. Leon Leg not with the best clearance, but Will Norris does well to come and claim that. I'll call for it. I'm screaming for it. And he is going to throw it towards me, but it's not going to matter because there goes the final whistle. A 0-0 draw against Mansfield, not against Mansfield, against Notts County at home after a 1-0 win away from home against Mansfield. I think I'm going to drop the difficulty down to professional like we did last year on my player just to try and liven up the gameplay. So for the next episode, we'll drop it down to uh, professional difficulty. Not because we clearly... Uh, uh, we, well, I'll rephrase that. Not because we can't compete at this uh, difficulty setting. Clearly, uh, we're able to do enough, but I'm feeling that the gameplay isn't as entertaining as it potentially could be. And of course, as was the case last year, at the end of the day, the entertaining gameplay is the most important thing. We are 68 rated now, though, so hopefully we can maybe get a little bit more from Curve. No, we get Ds in training, unfortunately. Very close to Curve going up another one. But I'll drop the difficulty down to professional for the next episode, and uh, we'll have transfer deadline day in that next episode as well. But we'll have Crawley and Doncaster, two away games in the next episode of my player but for now that's going to bring this one to a close thank you very much for watching guys drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content hopefully the change in difficulty should liven up the gameplay on the pitch as well but for now that's all from me i'll see you next time